Uh, I'm the author of SpeechMaker. Now, once you've installed SpeechMaker, you should see this red desktop. You should see this red icon on your desktop. Now, when I click it, you only have to wait for a few seconds, and you see a splash screen appear. And then the main application loads. As you can see, um, it's a very simple interface. And now I'm going to begin to load a file so that you can see how it works. Um, if I bring the mouse down to the bottom, to the bottom right of the uh, application, and I click that page icon. And as you can see, I've got an open text file dialog box appearing. Now what I'm going to do is look for a text file uh, to open from which I can read from. And I have to look for the folder. And text. Uh, and uh, I select a file. Now, it's essentially as simple as that. Uh, as you can see, the name of the text file appears at the top of the teleprompter or autocue software, and I literally just have to press the play. And as you can see, the text is making its way up to the screen. Now, I can set the speed of the teleprompter uh, by either pressing any of the numerical keys on the keypad. So if I go to press the 7 key to make it just a bit faster, and there you go. And I can see the text. I can press the, the space bar to pause it and to start it, and I can do the same for the enter key as well. Um, I can slow it down again by pressing the f number 5 key, or I can use this track bar control on the bottom left of the screen and I can, as you can see, I can adjust the speed and again make it even slower or faster to the highest speed. Now, um, the main controls which you've got, you've got the play pause as you can see here, but I've also got a rewind control that will actually take you to the beginning of the text file so that uh, automatically and it will play again and then the stop. Now I can stop, I don't have to use the mouse to uh, uh, to stop st to stop the application from scrolling, I just have to press the escape key and it not only stops the application and rewinds it, but it also clears the file from memory. I can also move the application uh, or have it dock to the middle, left and right of the screen and I can also, if I press pause, I can also minimize it. And as you can see, you've got a toolbox so that you can edit and make changes as you can see. For some people, red and black might be too strong so um, I can change the screen, the text color and I can even change the background colour. And it's, it's literally as simple as that. Um, if I want, I can press this use countdown switch and again, just above it, you can see I've got uh, a countdown time of time and you can see there's it's increments of five. So you can do a countdown from a maximum of 30 seconds all the way down to as little as 10 seconds. And then the speed settings here I can go anywhere from 2 all the way up to 100. And it should be. If I get my application right, and there you go. And I, if I press save, that's it. All your settings are saved. So the next time you start the application, it will work the way that you want it to. Now, for those of you who want to see the countdown, we can do a rewind. And I can play again and watch what happens. And as you see, I had the countdown set at 30 seconds, and it's now counting down. 20 seconds. 
15. 10. 5. Auto Q software automatically starts on itself, and as you can see, uh, towards the middle, the bottom middle of the uh, application itself, or the software, you can see it's got a timer which tells you how long the speech is in progress, and you've got also the current time. Literally, Speech Maker is as simple as that to work on and to operate. There's no need for help at all, as you can see. I hope you all enjoy using it. It's free. You're limited to 3,000 characters, and one is not able to adjust the font size at the present moment, but in future versions of the free or light version of SpeechMaker, I hope to give all free users the ability to change the size of the text. Uh, thank you very much for being patient with me.